Hi, in the last three classes uh, we discussed on various uh, aspects of uh, ecological pest management methods. Today we will have another set of uh, ecological uh, methods of uh, pest suppression wherein uh, through physical intervention we can reduce the pest population significantly. The meaning of physical intervention is using a device or a material or a source for reducing the pest population. I have listed here some of the devices uh, that can be used. In simple you know if you use hot water or hot air treatment for sugarcane sets before planting because all these sugarcane sets carry a lot of scale population. So, by treating with uh, hot water treatment or hot air treatment these scales can be reduced or killed significantly. Similarly, the same hot water treatment to plant stored in uh, storages, it may be a potato tuber or it may be roots or it may be corns which contain lot of uh, bulb flies and nematodes when exposed to hot water they will be killed significantly. Similarly, another device which is most commonly used is a light trap. Light trap it involves two things. One is the use of light. Majority of the insects attract towards the light sources. The light source may be from uh, different agencies. For example, if you use a fluorescent, it gives some sort of light, uh, UV rays it attract lot of insect population. Mercury bulb also attracts a lot of uh, uh, insect population and uh, little higher black tube light trap also attract much higher population of insects. So, the any light which emits UV has the capacity to attract insects considerably and the another term in light trap is trap. We can design various types of traps to collect the insects. The design of the trap and the placement of uh, these traps and the height in which uh, that we have to keep and the time in which we have to keep all improves the efficiency of light trapping. For example, I have here in a orchard a simple light trap having a mercury bulb and uh, as the light source for physical intervention and placing a water tub with water in it and putting some um, kerosene or insecticide solution into that uh, tray. So, that whatever insects which are attracted to this light will fall into this water and because of kerosene or because of uh, the insecticide the insects which are attracted will be killed. Then another important uh, thing uh, for the insect behavior is insects are also attracted to some sort of color, particularly the yellow color the majority of the soft bodied insects are attracted to this yellow color. This behavioral phenomena can be used to our advantage that means in managing the pest population in a given ecosystem. I have here in this photograph you know in the cotton air ecosystem particularly in the early stage of cotton growth we have some yellow sticky traps. These traps can be of any design not necessarily it is round or it is flat or it is square any design suitable to you you can plan it paste it with the yellow color and then uh, smear it with any greasy substance simple castor oil can be used as a sticky material and the adults remember the adults of serpentine leaf miner which is an important invaded pest both male and female are attracted to this yellow color and they will be trapped and we can reduce the population considerably using this behavioral phenomena. Similarly, cotton white fly, this is another important pest as all of we know it caused major economic damage in North India during this year is also attracted to yellow color. A simple trap may be the insecticide container itself after its use can be pasted with the yellow color and to this uh, we can smear some greasy material again uh, castor oil can be one of the cheapest greasy material can be smeared and then placed in the field. The placement is most important you know it should be placed above the crop canopy so that uh, the yellow color is visible to the adult white flies. Remember here 
again both male and female are attracted to this yellow color and uh, they come and uh, sit on this uh, trap because of the greasy material they will be trapped there and they will be killed. So, this is one of the simple device to trap insects and then reduce the population uh, under given ecosystem. Then uh, we have another important um, physical device that is flame throwers which can also be simply called as uh, bona fires or setting up of a fire in the open field. Some insects have got the habit of emerging out from the diapause stage immediately after early showers in the beginning of the season. For example, we see this behavior in case of red hairy caterpillar, root grubs and then some uh, chaffers which are hiding in the soil. So, this behavior can be used to our advantage setting up of bona fires in the mid of the field using last season uh, uh, crop residues is one of the simple way of uh, uh, using this device for trapping the insects and then killing the insects on a large area basis. And then one of the other important thing is bird perches. We know there are many entomophagous birds which mainly feed on insects and survive on them only. For example, we use some perches, perches in the sense they may be live perches or dead wood trees. Live perches may be some sort of uh, sorghum seeds or maize seeds which can be mixed with uh, the main crop may be red gram or cotton at the time of sowing because these sorghum or maize they have the habit of uh, growing much faster and they are taller also than the main crop that is red gram or cotton they provide the resting space for the bird or else even I have a photograph here the dead wood branches of the tree can be placed in the field. You can see large number of birds coming and resting on this. The one that you are seeing in this photograph is a black drongo. This is a very efficient uh, uh, predator on insects. Insects which cannot be controlled at the later instars may be third to fifth instar can be easily noticed by these birds and they prey on these things, come and rest on these perches and then eat. One of the behavioral phenomena is these birds you know cannot devour or consume when they are in flight. That is why we see large number of these birds resting on the electric fence or on the trees in our fields. They need a resting spot to sit and then devour uh, the caught prey. So, that is why we need to provide a perch in, a, in the field so that the efficacy or the efficiency of these bird predators can be improved. Then the last two important things sunlight. Sunlight itself can serve as an important physical intervention or a device in uh, killing some of these stored insects. Lot of our stored products uh, harbor egg population, larval population, grub population and they can be exposed to hot sunlight more than 38 degree centigrade for few hours, maybe 4 to 5 hours, usually kills all these stages at one stroke. Similarly, the opposite way that is the use of cold as a device. For example, lot of our mangoes containing fruit fly, lot of our uh, potatoes containing potato tuber worm moth and some of the nematodes, some of the diseases are also there in these uh, stored products. They can be stored in a cold situation for example, for about 12 degree centigrade for about 4 hours can knock down all these populations inhibiting in these uh, sources of food permanently. So, that is how all these techniques of physical intervention can be used in reducing the pest population which can fit very well in the IPM concept. Thank you.